So let's dive right in. The exercise is forward inside three turn, change of edge, and a backwards inside three turn following it. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can skate this particular exercise. We can skate it full on figure style with a very upright posture and very complete circles. Or we can choose to skate it a little bit more in the current style of flow of moves in the field or field moves or as we have in Great Britain now, skills. This is the sequence skated in the freestyle with more flow and lean. And here is the same sequence skated more akin to the figure style with a low free leg through the turns and a common long axis for both the turns and the change of edge. So getting the concept of both the control of the exit of the inside three turn, let's say I'm turning a left forward inside three turn, I turn from forwards to backwards and I hit a classic backward outside edge. I'm now going to take that body weight from this general leaning direction and as I move that free leg from back to front, I'm going to be moving the body weight across from the original side of my skate outside edge over to the inside edge. So the synchronization of the free leg movement and the change of the body lean is very important because that change of body lean with the free leg movement, the free leg pendulum is going to help to best utilize the, the energy flow of the weight of our limbs. You've got the weight of that free leg behind you and as you swing it down and ahead of you it's the best opportunity to right your body weight from having that free leg behind you. I know it's an arm but imagine it's a leg. So I'm leaning across and that free leg is behind me. As the free leg descends the weight comes to the center point so that we can then make that transfer across to the opposite side. Now that can be a very subtle movement or it can be skated very strong and how you're going to formulate your balance plan for your ensuing backward inside three turn is going to have a large part to play in how much lean you apportion either side. There's no completely right and wrong answer in how much lean should I have except for have you lent so much that you're falling over? Answer yes, that would be wrong. Having decided how much lean to take as you change from outside to inside, we then need to consider the check of the upper body. So if I finished my, I'm going to demonstrate left, left inside three turn, and I have checked my body slightly towards my standing side, and I'm preparing to change the edge. Now the free leg is coming through and the upper body is already facing slightly out of my circle. That's ideal because that's exactly where I need to be in order to successfully turn a back three. So it's about controlling the urge to pivot and rotate through this center part, upper body versus lower body, right? Those opposite directions that those two parts can move in. All right, so as we've finished our initial three turn and we've got a slight twist facing the left side of the body, we're moving back through and the hips are coming back to line up with the shoulders now. So we're more square than we were before. Free hip was back, shoulders facing the left side. Now it's coming forward, forward, forward. And now both sides of the body are facing out of that circle. Free leg needs to be tidied up. So let's talk about that a second, hang on. Hello, floor level camera. Let's talk about that free leg. It's moved from the back along your circle to the front and it needs to be on top of your tracing. So the free leg was extended back along the circle line of your skating foot. So that's my skating foot. It's drawing this circle line here. And if it kept skating towards where my free leg is extended, it would meet. All right, that's how I know I've got really good alignment. Now that free leg is going to come closer, 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 and then out through alongside my skating foot, practically rubbing 
alongside that skating foot. Very important, closeness of free leg. If that free leg swings wide, it's gonna do nasty things to your hips that makes you feel like maybe they tilt back. It creates the urgency for your body to create counter rotation that you really don't want or need for this movement. So cleanness of movement. We're checked, we're facing over to that left-hand side. Free leg comes in. We're keeping the shoulders facing this way. Free leg comes forward and in line with your skating foot. One single line. If you were balanced and walking along a wall or pretending to be a hieroglyph on an Egyptian tomb, that's what your leg should look like. So I want you to remember, you don't just walk like an Egyptian, you do a backwards three turn like it too. We hope you've enjoyed today's Technical Tuesday. As always, we invite you to join our tribe and subscribe. And in the meantime, enjoy some more great content from our channel.